is a Dexpose. Hmm. Who knows what we're calling it? But it's me, Christian Schiller, back with another Dexpose. Dexpose. <laughs> Testing your developer experience live every week. The time and the date is uh, is a little um, inconsistent right now, but it's roughly once a week. I'm experimenting with a slightly different setup again. I now have the camera down here. (laughs) Not that you know where here is. And I have a microphone here, which you can't quite see. I have a new bendy arm and a muffled, and hopefully it's all working out okay. So... Today, I am going to actually look at something slightly different. I'm cheating ever so slightly. Let's just change cameras. There we go. Today, I'm actually looking at something called Document Node. I'll make that a little larger. I've got to remember to set that up. So this isn't quite a developer tool, really. Um, It's more of a writing tool. But I came across it mostly from my kind of uh, tech writing Skill, skills, well, skills, yes, my tech writing world. And um, I've been wanting to try it for some time. But it's not really explicitly related to developers. It's more aimed at writers and I think people who want to write in particular ways. So I'm kind of getting into more of my... This, this episode is not really the expose or dev expose. It's kind of dev write expose. It's not as catchy, really, is it? Tech right, suppose, eh? Not really as catchy. Anyway, whatever. I've wanted to test it for some time, so it seemed like a good excuse to do this. And it's also a little different because it is, as you can possibly see, a desktop tool. So, let's get a rough idea of what we're looking at before we begin. Now you get to see up my nose, which I'm sure is a lovely view. So it's open document node. I'm not quite sure what open means. But anyway, inspir- oh, sorry, I get it. <laughs> Open document load, inspiration unfold. It still looks slightly strangely worded, but anyway. Lightweight, cross-platform, fast writing, and instant publishing tool. We'll have a look at this image here. It looks like it's combining a few things with something like Ulysses, maybe, but um, with some other, other tools. Um, cross-platform, native and fast, written in C++. I like this. It's not Electron. I like this. Markdown, distraction-free, site builder, and exporting. Um, So here's a few things we want to look at here. We can also do um, charts. So it's doing uh, markdown charting and um, distraction-free, exporting options, run a website from from a page, different previews, customize CSS to do that, images. Okay. All right. I reckon we just get started and see how we go. And I'm going to attempt to do some of my sort of technical writing in it and see how far we get. So I already have it downloaded, actually. But let's just go straight to the docs and the quick start. Make this window a little larger. Overview. So this looks like it's largely aimed at websites, but we can also see here things like uh, ebook, docs, portal, etc., etc. Existing solutions require complicated process to set things up. A lightweight thing. So this is actually yeah, a little bit like Ulysses um, and a couple of other tools here. Uh, and the reason I also wanted to, to go into this in a bit more detail is I get emails from the creator. I think it's just a one-person shop, actually Australian, in uh, Perth. So probably fast asleep right now. Um, and they are constantly adding new features, which is something I also like to see and a lot of interesting features so we'll see how many of those we can get through in the next mm, 40 minutes or so i have to check i have to jump on other calls about 7 15 my time so actually we've got just under an hour i need to get ready for the next call okay all right section free writing one click to generate a website offline site builder interesting exporting to a website of PDFs, okay. Publishing, different places. All right, let's get stuck into the quick start. Right, I suppose we should open the application. Well, anyway, installing document node. Um, I do believe I actually, let me see. Now I did even create this time a, oh no, I didn't, sorry. That's for screenshots, not for streaming. That's probably fine. 
need to make the font larger. I remember that. That was probably what I meant to customize. I'll do that for next time. Promise. Okay. I do believe that I might have installed this with brew cask. I'm not sure. Let's see. Come on, brew. There we go. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, all right, <laughs> ignore that. So download the DMG file, double click it, drag it. I spy a typo, it's a good start. And I will see if we can um, contribute to these docs. Not sure if we can. Anyway, I do have it installed. I get the feeling it's going to possibly want to update. Oh. <laughs> So it's always a good start with recent versions of Mac OS. I'm sure I was installing it from Brew. Uh, no. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right. Let's open it from here. Yes, please. I get the feeling. Oh, I have a trial. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> log in. Do I have to log in? Interesting. It doesn't mention. What does it? Linux starting the welcome page. Create a document. Doesn't actually mention anything about logging in here. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if we don't have to log in. Don't really want to. Okay. Good. We don't. All right. Now I'm gonna uh, split here into my usual um, dual view. This is hopefully gonna look okay. It's, it's all right, I think. Let me just get to my window where I can see. Oh, it looks okay. I just noticed I still have Photoshop open as well. I'm gonna quit Photoshop. Oops. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> behind behind the curtain. <laughs> Oops, there we go, right. Live streams. Starting content creation. When you first time you, in the, okay, there's a lot of typos here. Um, in the first time you've launched, okay. I uh, will see if I can contribute to that. You can create a document, create a new project, open an existing project directly. Trying hard not to invent any new terminologies. Project is it? Okay. It's very honest documentation, isn't it? <laughs> project in document node is just an ordinary folder on your disk. So again, this is a bit like Ulysses, where you can put your plain text content in. Or it's actually marked out content, I suppose, to be, prop to be official. You can organize your plain text files in different folders for different purposes. Okay. All right, so I am going to, oh, it's actually, what's this quick start? Oh, it takes me to where I am. Okay, all right. <laughs> Release notes, fine, documentation. Okay, so we can actually check out Git as well. I always like to have a look at, um, I wonder if I can make this larger. That's the only problem. It's always the problem with desktop applications. You can't zoom in. <laughs> uh, no. Uh -huh. Sorry, <laughs> actually, did, have I, let me enable very quickly. I think I turned it off recently. Uh, there we go. That should, there we go, good, All right. So I'm basically looking at uh, this here. That has caused all sorts of oddness. Huh. I think it's been such a long time since I've used uh, this uh, Mac feature. <laughs> I hadn't noticed what happens when you have two screens. I have my laptop screen over here. Uh, over, he over here. It's not, you can't really see me pointing. And when you zoom in, it actually overlaps onto that screen, which is quite disconcerting. I've obviously not used zoom in a very long time. But anyway. I digress. What I was actually trying to talk about was you can see a new document, create an empty project, open a folder, check out from a Git repository preferences. Let's have a quick look at the preferences before we go any further. And because I am currently so paranoid about this uh, dual view, I want to, well, it seems to be uh, showing what I expect to be showing on the stream. Good. Okay. And we can already see that this is cross-platform. Um, this does not qu look quite like a Mac application, but it, it's close enough. Uh, why is there a... 
Ah, so you can, oops, okay, change the CSS there. Interesting, okay, good. Editor, ah, so we can change the font size. I might do that for, for this, uh, for you, <laughs> the most. Show line numbers, sure, I like line numbers. Highlight current line, yes, I like that. Keyboard sound, okay. Don't really need that with this keyboard. <laughs> and you won't hear it probably because I'm not streaming the audio from my desktop. So we can also do system fonts there. Okay, view, tab, okay, fine. Preview, okay, lots of nice features here. Update, okay, good. Back up, okay, cool. Let's zoom back out again for a bit. I am going to go for opening a folder and try to open something I've been working on in a documentation project or maybe some blog posts. It might be easier than a documentation because a lot of the documentation systems I use have some custom markdown and things like that. So let's, let's see what would be suitable. Okay, yep, yep. Um, where have I? Okay, let's go into my DZone project folder. Okay, good. So zooming in again here, we can see we have um, yeah, pretty much what I was expecting. Drafts folder, posts, some images. We can toggle between this view and, oops. <laughs> uh, did that just crash? Yes, that just crashed. Okay. All right, not the uh, best, not the best start there. I do apologize for that background noise. Do apologize for a little bit of background noise at the moment, um, but uh, we'll carry on. Okay, so we won't toggle that view. <laughs> uh, we finish our writing, click run on the top right corner, get a website. I feel like we've we sort of jumped a few steps here in this quick start, but um, let me keep looking around a bit more. So let's open up a file. Um, I've forgotten how much I've written. Wow. Um, Right, that'll do. Okay, good. We have kind of standard view here, a uh, the text and the preview. I'm not sure if I had any images in this post. Uh, no, maybe we should find something with some images. Um, hmm, I'm sure I have some somewhere. <laughs> I uh, will put some in. We'll put some in. Okay, this will do for now. No, no, let's go back to the uh, CS one. There we go. Um, how do I get rid of the preview? See, these, we have these buttons up here. I'm not quite sure what they are. Layout column switcher. Ah, I see. So that toggles the different columns. Okay. Okay, right, good. We have our line numbers. What do we have over here? We have... Okay, yep, yep. We have, oops. Ah, so maybe that's what the uh, view we saw in the documentation was. Not uh, rendering um, like mermaid style documents, but showing the, uh, this is quite interesting actually in some ways. Um, huh, it's sort of interesting. I don't know if I can, oh, you can. Huh, that's interesting. Can I end it? Yes, I can. That's kind of, I'm not sure how useful that would be, but it, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, how did I get here? <laughs> this is, oh, there we go. That's how I got here. Okay. Um, all right. And what's this? We have an explanation mark over here, which is always concerning. I'll log in. Okay. Right. So running as a website, once you've finished your writing, click the run button. Let's see. Something happened. Get a website with the default settings automatically. Well, ah, here we go, here it is. Huh. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Uh, and what do we have here? Is that, what is this? Let's see. Uh, everything quickly, can page layout, page data, page styles, creating new pages. There are four modes you can use. I might move this over here temporarily, we can see. 
Um, and now, as this is a web page, I can also zoom in here a bit. There we go. Four modes you can use to customize your pages. Design mode, which is this box. Okay. Huh. Also notice that um, this got the date from somewhere. Uh, I guess the... Um, Oh, look at that. That is nice, too. It's actually synchronizing. I guess it got the date from the file, I suppose. And the user, I guess, is, is me. I wonder if, let's see, whilst we're here. I wonder, this would be very useful for documentarians. Let's see. Um, hmm. Well, something changed. Ah, no, not quite what I was expecting. But that was me maybe going a little bit too crazy, a little bit too soon. So let's uh, let's remove that for now. Good. Okay. All right, where were we? <laughs> I'll stop experimenting. Okay, uh, so design mode lets us move these blocks around. What does this mean? I'm not getting... So we could move it up, I guess. Reloading. And now we have... That at the bottom, which is which is slightly strange way to do things. So <laughs> we'll bring it back. We can also I'm not quite sure what that's doing. Letting us select different sorts of blocks. I'm not sure. And a plus gives me the same. Okay. Or delete it, which we don't really want to do. And we can oh we can also Change things here. That's that's quite nice. Um, designing mode, editing mode, which is the pencil. Editing mode is enabled to edit page data, text links, and images. So I'm guessing we can maybe not. I don't know. Change. Page text doesn't seem to be doing anything there. Uh, oh, this. Hmm. Nothing seems to be happening. I wonder if Brave is causing a problem. Let's just see. Normal Brave. Okay, we've gone back. We go back to editing. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something. We can change this though, strangely. <laughs> That's all I can seem to change. Okay. Uh, starting mode, we can change the color. Oops, okay. Uh, Not seeing anything. I could change it here again. Seemingly only in certain places, not here, which is useful. Um, page elements. I guess it considers the text not to be a page element, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Current page settings. We can. Ah, interesting. So, docs. Let's start going towards this path. This is obviously not a doc. Maybe we'll come to that in a minute. See what happens. Nice. That's actually quite nice. Ah, I might load up a, a documentation site, but I have to think of something that isn't isn't using lots of custom markdown. That's the only problem, of course, doing documentation stuff. And we have global site settings, general, author avatar. Okay. All right. Um, oh, it's using all the images I had here. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know if I could use my actual avatar, but um, what about Stephen Wolfram? It can be me. There we go. <laughs> Content template. We already did that. Direct. Ah, okay. That's nice too. Let's maybe go for that. Page code injection. That's also quite useful. Okay. It looks like it saved everything. Okay. Okay. I'm not quite sure how we get to that. I guess from one of. Oops. No. Ah. There's browse mode. I guess from one of these, maybe. 
Okay, yep, yep, that's sort of what we'd expect. Okay, not quite what I expected, but that's not bad. Okay, good. Huh. It's loading my uh, thing here too. Okay, good. Good, all right. That's interesting. Let's um, maybe come back to here for now and see what else we can do. Um, exporting. Once you've finished writing and be ready, yes, some more typos delivered to your readers, you can export projects to a clean website or a PDF. And now I do apologize, the cat has decided to start scratching in the background. I don't know if you can actually hear that or not. Live streaming. <laughs> now she's done. All right. Export, let's see. So that's this button up here. Let's stop the website for now. So um, up here, this button up here. No, yes, export, okay. So PDF, HTML, or a website? I'm quite sure. I guess that's hosting locally, anyway. PDF. Okay, yes. Create a PDF file per document. Also, we're doing it on the folder, the whole project. Merge into a single PDF. So this is, um, yeah, a little bit like uh, Scrivener and many other things. I usually use Pandoc, for example, for things like this. Um, let's go for a PDF. This might take a long time. I've got a lot of content. <laughs> okay, let's see. I wonder if there's any sort of progress. Uh, I don't know. How do we know when it's done? Oh, something just happened. Output. Okay. Hmm, it wasn't too bad. Let's have a look. What were we looking at? CS. Here we go. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It might be nice to, again, to find something with images. Um... <laughs> Probably don't use many images, as you can see. Um, maybe we'll come to one of the... <laughs> I think I tended to add images and afterwards on, on this, page, on this uh, project as well. This is not massively useful. Uh, okay, but that's not bad. I mean, I'm guessing we can change the look and feel because I'm not digging the font here. It's all a bit bold. Um, the other thing to check with PDFs is also, is it a proper PDF? Let's see. It's got a proper table of contents. Yes, good, it is, excellent. All right, good, that's pretty impressive. Um, I might delete that just because it's pretty quite large. Okay, all right, what next? Auto update, that's fine. Getting support, okay, what's next? Um, that's pretty straightforward. Let's see what else we can do, maybe. Projects. Engine the quick start guide. Oh yeah, we were gonna try maybe a, an actual documentation site. That was a good point, let's see. Did that quit the whole application? That quit the whole application. Not completely native, as we can see. Okay, no document could be created. All right, not sure what that's referring to. Um, open a folder as a project. I've got to think what I can open that is not... Um, also, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. There isn't lots of really custom markdown uh, <laughs> struggling here. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. I can't think of anything. Uh, dearie me. Um, 
actually, I think this is probably okay because is using MK Docs, which is a documentation tool, but I don't think the project is currently using a lot of the custom markup. It's also fairly large. Can we close that project? Yes, okay. I'll put it back into my view as well. And let's get the, uh, well, let's open up something, I suppose. Um, let's go for the current quick start here, which I can remember is this one. Okay, yep. This is also one thing I forgot to check. Does it do uh, code highlighting? Yes, good. Does it? Let's see. Yes, look at that. It's even, is that auto-completing? Yes, that is nice. <laughs> All right, let's put it back to what it should be. I'm also noticing, uh, which wasn't mentioned in the quick start, I really think the quick start should actually mention a lot more features because there's a lot of features here that are quite useful and it's not mentioning. Um, things like this uh, little formatter here, for example, so we can strike through, for example, things like that. What about links? Is it, uh, okay, that's like a lot of other editors. Okay, that's fine. Um, good, so there's our preview there. Let's see what run running this as a website is like. I guess it's gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, looking quite nice actually. Um, obviously this is just reflecting, so I'm looking at um, oops, this up here. This is just reflecting the folder structure, which is not ideal. There may be a way to change that, not sure. Let's go home. What do we get? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, good. Looking a bit like a, oh, actually, yeah, here we can change. No, what was it? It was in here. Yeah, docs. There we go. And we'll make it look more like a documentation site. It's refreshing. Yeah. The image. Oh, that's so uh, that is actually loading an image, which is you're just in a local folder. That's quite nice. Okay. Ah, now that's good. What? This is loading up, yeah, the file structure. Um, even with, no, whoops, no, that did not do what I expected. Did it? No, it does not have disclosure, which is interesting. Okay, I guess that's things you could change though. Uh, that's looking quite good though, it's not bad. Okay, um, let's come back to here. What were we actually trying to do? Projects, yep. Okay, an empty project, we've kind of already been through all of that. Open a project, open a folder, clone it from Git, which is nice. Does it handle Git history? Not sure. I mean, this is actually a project in Git, although the Git is at the top level, not sure. Close the project, yeah. Right click, close the project, view filters. Okay, let's have a look. I don't know how useful this is going to be to us. Yeah, not massively useful. I got rid of a few images. Uh, refactoring. Ah. Okay. Documents around and restructure. I mean, that's... I mean, I think a lot of static site generators kind of do the same thing. I'm not entirely sure how unique that is, but okay. I mean, I think this tool is not necessarily aimed at people used to static site generators, so it's a slightly unfair comparison, but drafts, we have drafts as well. That's good, and unlisted. Um, context menu of the projects tree. Ah. Oh yeah, that's useful. So out of interest, if we took You're showing the local website in library load mode, but not the exported website. Okay, okay, all right, good. Um, I'm folders, draft folders and documents, unlisted, yeah, privacy policies, okay, okay. All right, document files. 
<laughs> I like this opening paragraph here. In most cases, the purpose of writing is for someone else to read it. Yes. <laughs> um, markdown and rich text. Okay, interesting. New folders, yeah. Move folders around. New document in a folder, document name. Rename a file, document sorting. So I wonder if this means, because this could be interesting. Let's see. So let's get the website back. Okay. What I'm interested in trying here is, where is it? Uh, here we go. So can I manually move this? That's the impression I'm getting. Yeah. See, that's actually <laughs> a seemingly, where's the, I can't see the um, folder anymore though. It's, oh, it's got cut off. It's interesting, but I, I guess, hang on, I mean, we can probably get the same, oops. Let's see, yeah. So that's actually quite interesting, that, that's, um. Normally with tools like this, um, or with if I was using Visual Studio Code or a static site generator, then uh, you'd have to order things in a different way by adding a flag or something like that. The ability to move these files around and it not to be exactly the same as the underlying file system, I'm assuming, unless something oops, strange is going on behind the scenes. No, nothing is. So it's just doing it all through a config file here by the looks of it. That's actually kind of an interesting feature <laughs> in some ways. Yeah. Okay. Um, where were we? Document sorting, recent files. Okay, fine. Markdown editor, I think, is going to be uses common mark tables. Does this mean. Ooh. This could be nice. Yeah, look at this. So we can insert an image here. We've got that already. Can we just, uh... no, I didn't like that, okay. <laughs> All right, but anyway, tables. Okay, so it's not like a, oh, hang on. Aha, now that is nice. So uh, let's delete, no, that doesn't work. I guess we have to do that, yes. Oops, well, I'm, this is just a mock table, I don't really. Okay, that is, that is quite nice. <laughs> That's quite nice. Okay, good. Um, huh, look at that. You can even... I wonder if it's... Yes. So let's say we want that to center and that to... Uh, right. Hmm. That's nice. Um, it calls it a spreadsheet dialog. I'm not sure if that's strictly true, unless, <laughs> can we, no, there's no sorting. Okay, well, that's fine. It's probably asking a bit too much. Um, I like that. With this functionality in place, writing tables in Markdown becomes a real pleasure. Well. <laughs> In preview, we've already saw synchronizing the scroll bar. And we saw that already on the, uh, here I think. Yeah, here we go. So our table should be there now as well. Yeah, cool. Syntax highlighting, yep, we already came across that. 310 languages is, is quite a lot. Um, web page and PDFs, brilliant. Here they are, <laughs> well, there we go, 310. Some of these are mop, nope, no idea. No web, Ninsys, no idea. Anyway, okay, rich text editor. Not too interested in that. Um, but this, uh, let's let's see how this might work. Let's add a new document. Let's make it rich text. So in this case, we get a slightly different UI, interestingly. I mean, you could argue that you could have the same on both, I suppose. Um, Yeah, I'm being 
somewhat. <laughs> uh, oh, and more. But you don't get the um, pop out one there, interestingly. Uh, and it does a spelling and grammar check under development. Well, creators of Document Node, you should talk to me about that. I help maintain a tool called Veil. We would love to integrate. Anyway, um, interesting that they decide to have a different editor. I mean, you could just have the same editor here unless I'm missing something, and it is here. Not seeing it, no. Uh, and I guess also, do we get, how do we get? Slightly. Oh, I've got to go and check this now, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know if you can better hear this. Let's see. <laughs> Double the noise. <laughs> um, there's a difference between what a mechanical typewriter from 86 and 91, apparently. Okay, all right. Yes. <laughs> That's quite enough of that. Um, and the focus is, oh, well, that doesn't really work for this document. It'll work for this document. Maybe? Uh, no, seemingly not. Maybe that's only in rich text. Yeah, I've seen the focus mode before. Not sure. It doesn't seem to be responding there. Okay. Uh, so the rich text editor is a little different. You can change all sorts of things. I would argue that you could maybe share the interface across them. Colors, that's Mac OS there, Linux, okay, yes. Text background, interestingly. So if you wanted to have a slightly more formatted document inside for the PDF version or something, you could do that. Something like uh, Scrivener, I know, lets you decide which files will be imported and exported. You could kind of do that with the unlisted, I suppose, but um, I meant more per format, more than anything else. Alignment links, yeah, we're not too bothered here. Document outline, is this this, oh no, this is this, this was the, the one that um, crashed when we tried earlier. So let's see, let's have another go. Okay, good. Uh, oh, in the current document. All right. Let's maybe, here we go, that has a few more. There we go. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, that's good. I'm clicking, dragging, heading, so you can move sections around. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we saw that. Um, here as well. This is another thing. Probably uh, in the long run, people would want, um, you can see what I'm looking at here. Let me zoom in. Would want the so called um, clean URLs instead of this.html. But that's a whole other thing to think about at some point. Okay, um, and what did it say? It said something. <laughs> on this page text on the right hand side. Oh, in three column documentation page layout. Docs page. Uh, three column? How did I get a three column layout? Maybe. Have I missed something here? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Content template, no. Directory template. Oh yeah, the um, builder thing. Maybe it's for that. Uh, content. Three column documentation. Block. Does that? Where did it go? <laughs> Do I drag it? Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. How will? Oh, here we go. No, how do I? Well, we haven't actually read the instructions yet. To be fair. Oh. Having the same icon in multiple places is not. Um, page blocks, there we go. 
and adding them. Enable designing mode. You really know if a page block is completely transparent. Add a new page block. Okay, still not 100% sure how, but let's um, come back to that in a second. Um, so we're attempting to add this block. And if you thought you were going mad, yes, someone did just walk behind me. <laughs> Always the fun of doing live streaming. Famous for 30 seconds, that person. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did the block go? <laughs> We've lost the block. Uh, oh, content, that was it. So... I want to add that. Okay. Still not seeing it. Ah, hang on, something's happening. Something just refreshed. You know what it is? It's probably because, there we go. <laughs> there we go, that was it. The uh, window was too minimized. I mean, that makes it a very wide page. To be fair, I do have, I am zoomed in. Oh no. I am zoomed in. Um, doesn't seem to do response. Oh, hang on, no, maybe it does. No, okay. No, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, zoom back in again so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, I've got about three sample sites opened here. Should probably, uh, there we go. Right, uh, and that outline. Excellent. Right, mind map view. This one was quite intriguing. Uh, both markdown and rich text, the skeleton. Okay, okay. So it's just a different, um, it's an alternative to this, this view, basically, I suppose. Um, edit the mind map topics. We saw that, I think. Let's just stop that there. Let's get rid of this view as well. So mind map view we can do from here. I mean, this is useful for thinking, no, we want to move that to its own oops, section. <laughs> there we go. Um, and oh, we can zoom in and out here. Okay. And we can edit the section, which is marginally useful, I would argue. But I wonder what happens if we add a new section. Can it cope with that? Let's see. Yes. Okay, good. No, actually, that should have been there. That's interesting. It's interesting. Check the canvas around. Mind map thumbnail. Okay. Um, okay. That's interesting. Uh, not entirely sure how useful it is. It seems like it might be, but not entirely sure. We can also change the theme. That's nice. Uh, business blue. There we go. Uh, mind map layout. That's oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, add sibling topics. Add child topics. Go to the document. Share it. Hmm. Does it just share it as pin? That's just the image. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, it's interesting. I'm not 100% sure. I could find, think of other use cases for it maybe than documentation, but we'll, we'll see. Um, reorder, yeah, we saw all that. Pop-up, yeah, we saw that. Change the theme, we saw that. Customization, okay, again. CSS, yep. Change the layout, yep. Collapse and expand nodes, okay. I don't remember seeing that. That was a piece of it. Hmm. Zoom, export, yes. Images and links, already looked at. We can insert an image. Uh, let's give that a go. Uh, format, no, edit, edit menu. Okay, interesting choice to where to put it, but sure. Um, okay, yeah. All right, that's what you'd expect. Um, the command shift I, good. Oh, look, it's Pepper. Dragging from projects. Didn't we couldn't get that to work? No. Doesn't seem to work. That one. No. Don't know. Doesn't seem to work. Uh, dragging from disk, dragging from browser, copy and paste. Okay, oh, that's a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Is this just the rich? I mean, this is showing the um, 
rich text toolbar unless I have missed something. And I should be able to see this toolbar here. Um, not seeing it. Uh, nope. So I don't know. Maybe it's just in rich text. Let's see. Take a screenshot. Oop. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I won't bother jumping through. Well, maybe this isn't going to work temporarily. I mean, you could just use the system screenshot tool, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, it's going to make us quit it, of course. Not a document, no problem that a um, Mac OS <laughs> setting. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, sure. Oh, fine. I mean, I think I'd rather use the system one, but it's possible. I wonder where the file went. Oh, that's in rich text, isn't it? So, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, interesting. Pasting screenshots. Extended. Ah, extended image syntax. Oh, look at that. Now that's interesting. Um, let's get back to an image. We had an image somewhere. What was I looking at? I had an image somewhere. Um, where did the image go? <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, they look like they did paste in. Maybe. Anyway. Um, there we go. Ah, nice. Yes. Uh, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, no, wrong one. That one. Oops. Sorry. Uh, yeah, interesting. I wonder if that also works with the preview. I wouldn't see why not, but let, let's quickly try. So let's get that image. Okay. Let's, where did it go? I've lost the image again. <laughs> Keep losing that image. Uh, okay, apparently it's here, but I'm going mad, obviously, and cannot see it anywhere. Um, I'm clearly going insane. Um, oops. Not quite sure what I did then. <laughs> I tried to search. Oh, there it is. Ah, I see. Right. There we go. Okay, there it is. All right. Let's see. Um, so we're not seeing the image. I'm getting the feeling a lot of this is to do with my zoom level, maybe. Or it's the... Anyway, that, that's what we want. I don't know if it's going to make a lot of difference. Um, because if something changed. That image is going to look odd. Uh, yeah, it works. Yeah. What's this? We're getting this strange. Ah, it's the. Yeah. It's yeah. It's 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 sticky. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Good. 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 I think we're mostly done here. This has been different. This is the thing when you don't work with developer tools. <laughs> it's easier. Um, it's a nice tool. Needs a little bit of work here and there but it's very new, just one person, I think. So it is working quite well. Find and replace, I think we would have just found that. <laughs> um, search in software. Search in software, quite sure what that means. Uh, Command Shift F. Nothing seems to be happening. I'm not quite sure um, what that is. Find, normal find. Not sure. Not seeing that. Okay. There's a slight issue there, maybe. Quick open command O. No. Oh, maybe it's from. No. 
Uh, no. None of that seems to be working. Not quite sure what we've got missing there. Exporting, we already looked at. Uh, quick save, options. I wonder if there was a way to change which files are exported, but I don't think so. Picture file, I didn't see that. HTML, website, PDF. No. HTML, PDF, multiple PDF, single PDF. Yeah, we saw all this already. HTML website, we saw this. Preferences, shortcuts, focus mode. Um, yeah, that's what I'd expect. You'd get that in uh, Scrivener as well. Uh, we already looked at the site builder, publishing websites, custom domain, command line. Now that's interesting. Ah, so there is a command line tool. Once you've downloaded the command line tools, I'm not sure how to do that unless I inadvertently have them already. I do not. So not quite sure where I get those from. Um, maybe it's here. Not seeing anything where to get the command line from. So that could be interesting, but I can't test it. <laughs> <laughs> Great, okay, so just to recap, let's go back to the document node website. Um, not bad, needs a little bit of work, but not bad at all. Uh, quite a nice sort of, I guess, a sort of um, entry point for people who are used to more conventional writing tools, but want a bit more. Maybe you don't want to go down the whole text editor path like Visual Studio Code. Uh, if it also had a plugin infrastructure, then that would be even better. I think I have the vaguest feeling that they are on. No, they're not on GitHub. So it's not open source. No. Okay. Um, but not bad. It's regularly updated. Needs a little bit of work, but not bad at all. Um, I guess the proof would be in the pricing. Let's have a look. Free. Right, yes. $3 per month per user. Productive writing, mind map editing, highly customizable. Not sure what we're getting. Unlimited files. I don't think anything about there being a limit to files, but um, yeah. Um, I feel like, oh, I hope we have a trial, don't we? Yes. <laughs> Just to realize we had a trial. Um, also looks like command line tools only come at a certain point here. Static site generating. I'm not entirely sure what we're getting in the trial. Um, don't know. What version are we getting? Accounts? No. Not sure. Not sure what we're getting in the trial version. So, yeah. Well, There's online publishing, but this um, collaborative, is this, where did I see this? Um, I don't know. It kind of implied that maybe there was a way to collaborate, but that would probably be <laughs> taking it a whole level further. I'm not seeing that. Yeah. So $57 per user per month is starting to get a little bit more expensive for some of this, but, um, Operating mostly in the open source world, I find it hard to compare. But yeah, that was um, Document Node. Interesting project. I will actually look at a few more tools like this in the in the future. There's been a couple I would like to have a look at, mostly aimed at the kind of um, technical writer-ish sort of sort of world. Although I'd actually, been... oh dear. I just had a camera collapse. That was embarrassing. <laughs> um, I had a, a little thing I was using and it looks like um, it had enough of me. Or maybe it overheated or something. Who knows? Anyway, we were nearly done, thankfully. Um, so what was I saying? Yes. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I will look at some more tools like this. I might, I would also might, might find this more useful for some of my game writing in some perspective. But um, anyway. But that's document no document no.io. Um, if you sign up to their mailing list, they're regularly giving updates. 
so you can find uh, yeah constantly changing roadmap. Um, check it out, documentnode.io. And um, for more information on this stream, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're on YouTube or the Twitch channel if you're on Twitch, wherever you're watching this. Find more at christianchiller.com, including all my contact details. And I'll be back next week looking at the developer experience of another tool. I'll see you in a week.